and you appreciate something and, and you don't really want to keep it to yourself. Um, you want to show it to everyone else and that's part of what the Scenic River designation does. It, it allows the public to, to understand those really neat characteristics that, that you love and you're passionate about. And it shares it with not only you know, your community, but the state and, and also the nation as a whole. So I grew up, uh, my grand, grandfather took me out on the river all the time. We had an old John boat. We started out in a little raft that was a little Walmart two-person raft type deal. And uh, we'd hook a fish and that thing would drag us all over the, all over the river. Um, and then we moved up into a John boat and my greatest memories are, are hanging out on the river with him. And my grandmother would have us a picnic lunch when we got out, uh, you know, just things like that. Um, and to know that we can offer that to other people and let them see the beauty that we've kind of taken for granted for years. And what it does is a swamp. I mean, think of all the water that is filtered there so that every time you get a high water event, you, by the time the water gets down to um, New Kent and Charles City County and down to the Chickahominy Lake, it's clear. It may be brown because of the tannins, but it's clear and just all those rich nutrients for fish and with fish come the birds and the mammals and so it's just this you know overpopulated wonderful ecosystem
exciting to me each and every time um, I explore the creek and mainly the fish. Um, I usually you know, go out to fish um, off of my kayak, but also to relax and just to take a deep breath and just to be able to breathe and just to, to enjoy um, the beauty of nature. And like I said, no place better here in Surrey County than Grays Creek to do that.